Today is the day dozens of new state laws officially go into effect, and there's little argument that the most contentious law is the legalization of recreational marijuana. Minnesotans 21 and older can now legally use, possess, and grow marijuana in the state, with some rules, of course. And as we have reported, it could be another year or more until you can purchase most recreational products at a dispensary. It won't be until at least 2025 when the Med City sees its first recreational dispensary open. To discuss now what legalization could look like here in the Med City, we turn to ABC6 reporter Alex Cotter. He's been talking with local businesses in Rochester to discuss some of the hurdles they're facing. Alex? Yeah, James and Robin here at Empire in Rochester. There's a man standing right outside this door when they opened up at 9 a.m. this morning to buy marijuana seeds. Before today, that was illegal. But marijuana seeds are the only thing that can be sold right now. The state is still in the process of setting up the Office of Cannabis Management to regulate sales of marijuana itself. They expect it to be ready for businesses to sell by 2025. That's around the same time the city of Rochester is allowing sales to start under a recently passed city ordinance. A new, the new law also means added work for business owners. They are now required to register to sell products that contain less than 0.3% THC products that were already legal. Besides that, it's selling seeds and waiting to sell the real stuff. Yeah, they got to get a whole committee put together to make the regulations and stuff too. And the other thing is we have to be able to apply. We can't even apply yet. So nobody has a marijuana license at this point. So the only thing you can really do today is smoke marijuana at home. You can have possession of it. You can have plants. Shelly Buchanan owns Hempire. She hopes legalization burns out the stigma surrounding marijuana. That's why our biggest thing is education. We want to explain to people what this might do for you, this might help you, or this might do whatever. She says the entire process has been a little confusing and frustrating for customers too. Under the new law, even though she owns multiple stores, she'll only be able to sell marijuana legally at one of them. Now, right now, she is waiting to try uh, try to let customers know the facts about the legalization, all the new laws and ordinances. Now, Olmsted County is also considering a similar ordinance to what the city of Rochester just passed, where sales wouldn't be allowed in until 2025, but that decision was tabled in the commissioner's meeting today. James, Robin? All right. All right. Thanks, Alex.